that's Mulk here. Let me tell you, he fought one of my friends called Simon Chu. Simon Chu has a left up from hell. I have never, ever held pads, and I've been holding pads for quite a long time, ladies and gentlemen. And Simon is monstrous power. And Chaz Mulkey took them shots and beat Simon on point. He's a tough guy, isn't he, Kieran? He's tough, he's got bad intentions. He doesn't like hit coat, but he's superbly skilled as well. Watch there, out for his knee, watch out for his knee. There's a very, very exciting story around that, and I'll let Nate Quarry tell you about that as the fight takes. As the, the fight unfolds. But Mulkey really doesn't like Kipko, and Kipko doesn't like Mulkey. There's quite a few people out there that don't like Kipko, so it's kind of far for the course. Jazz, no mercy, Mulkey! And his opponent making his way to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Las Vegas, Nevada, Kit Coat. Well, as I said by Nate, Kit Coat isn't like, to be honest, he's better. we've heard a few things about him. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> to be honest, I like him. He, he was funny with us, wasn't he? He was, yeah. I always thought he was a great guy, very skilled, very experienced. It's going to be a classic fight this, I'm sure. Right, come on. Come on, Mr. Quarry. Tell us a story behind this. Well, you know, you hear so very often that two fighters don't like each other, and it's supposed to be a great war, but all too often that means they don't want to lose, so they fight very conservatively, except in the case of if they're fighting about a woman. And that happens to be the case here where Kid Cope is, is dating someone else's girlfriend. Chaz Mulkey is the best friend of the boyfriend. They get together, spar, the sparring match turns into a full fight. Oh, oh there you go then. Gossip here on K1 by Nate this Quarry. Lovely. This is scheduled for three three-minute rounds according to K1 rules. Referee in charge for this fight is Des Sariapi. Well, the talking is over. The arguing is over. The banter has finished. It's time to put up or shut up between two very, very talented fighters indeed. Kit Cope and Chaz Mulkey in the black shorts. Kit Cope and in the white shorts. Chaz Mulkey and the front from very, very good gyms as well. And that all makes all the difference, doesn't it? It does. I mean, it's not just about payday here. It's not just about honour or pride. It's also about best friends. <laughs> because, uh, you know, like you said, Nate, that's, that just adds more fuel to the fire. Uh, Kit Cope had something to say about my sport yesterday, <laughs> saying how all too often yeah, MMA fighters say they want to stand with them, and then we don't. Well, of course not. We're not that stupid. And then you wouldn't want to get on the floor. They wouldn't want to get on the floor with you. Horses <laughs> for courses, old chap, as they say in England. But you can see the stare down. But Chaz Mulkey is in absolute tip-top shape. This is going to be an absolute wonderful fight here. K1, Los Angeles. They're both very much in lean shape, aren't they? Both similar build. I say Chaz already winning the Battle of the Tattoos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Chaz is unbelievably focused. Those eyes, those killers, aren't they? Yep. Huge shots being thrown early. And Kit always has a tendency to get a little wild when he starts throwing. Monkey cutting down the ring, eyes focus, really, really strong. Electing to really ha hard kick, just missed. Kit Coat. And Chaz is just walking him down. High kick there from Kit Coat, though, to the side of the head. He has Someone, got a watch when he steps in, it drops his head. Someone's going to get caught in here. Bad intentions. Yeah. Chaz just walking him down, cutting him off. Excellent ring craft there. He's just cutting off to the, to the side, so he can't move away. Big hook, though, from Kit. A kid, when he lunges in, he has a tendency to drop those hands. That could be the death of him. Yeah. Superb speed, though, these high kicks from both guys. Very fast. 
Steps to the side very well though, Cope. Using angles very well. Steps off. Got a lot of confidence, hasn't he? He does. Kit, Kit's never been short on confidence. <laughs> very dangerous though when he when Chaz steps in and Kit just drops his head down low. He's got the chance for the knee coming through the middle. Heavy shots. Not the nicest fight I've seen technically. Uh, to be fair. No, a, a little bit of passion here. That makes you want to swing wide. Sometimes you need to set emotion aside and follow the game plan of your corner, but sometimes when you wear your heart on a sleeve like these two guys, obviously, big over and right, whistles past. They're like bar punches, aren't they? Just yeah. bar overhand swingers, hoping for the best. <laughs> You do see a lot of those punches in MMA. You know, Chuck Liddell was a special at them, wasn't he? Overhand right. Very much so. Sneak counter right there from Kit Coke. Chess still so focused and just walking Kit down. A bit of a scrappy affair so far, but imagine if it goes into round two, it's going to open up a hell of a lot more. See that, just keep smiling, smiling to bring him in. Smiling, teasing again. And his mouthpiece looks like big teeth. <laughs> well, end of the first round coming up, and a very intriguing round between these two enemies. I'd like to see more, I'd like to see them stand still a bit more. Put some meat and veg in the shots and start landing the shots more yep. correctly. I think. When you use phrases like that, I'm less here to be a commentator, more to be a translator. So meat and veggies, I'm thinking you're meaning uh, a bit harder. Bread, more power. Yeah, the bread and butter okay. sitting down on <laughs> your shots. Okay. You know, we'll get you there. Uh, all American. I'll get your name right, and you get that right. We'll all be happy. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, we need, to, we need to sit down on the shots, start throwing the technique a little bit stronger, and a bit wild. You can see that the energy level's high because if they obviously they don't like each other. Chad seems to have more of the traditional Muay Thai stance, slowly plodding forward. Yeah, it's very much a Muay Thai stance. Strong guard, just cutting the ring off as well. Trying to throw high kicks when he gets close. He's got to work his knees though. But still, I think round two is going to be explosive. White shorts, Chaz Mulkey, black shorts, kick coat. He does slip well. Kick card, though. Steps in, steps out, even over drops his hand. Very experienced. Stop! Step back. Oh, Kick card has also fought Ben Uncle Moy uh, in, in Thailand as well. He's a, he's a world champion of that, so he is brave. He's a jack of all trades. He fought in my sport. He fought in the UFC a few times as well. He's in about 15, 16 in my main fight. Come on. Using the ring very well. He knows his way around, doesn't he? Big right hook that misses. And Chaz is just finding it hard when he gets close, but he drops his head. Slipping, evading those punches. Scoring, though, isn't he, Chaz Mulkey? Starting to score now. Yeah, Mulkey's hard got low some kick. fast kicks. You can just feel the emotion in there, can't yeah. you? Look at the punches being thrown. That was solid. Hard kick there. Just felt that one myself. Really powerful. Spinning back kick misses by Coke. He's starting to find his measure now, isn't he, Monkey? I think he twisted his ankle there on a the spinning kick. Broke his foot there actually. You just look at it, swelled right yeah, up. Seven. He's gonna stop him here. Kit's so brave. Mulky, no mercy from Mulky, that's why he's called no mercy. He's gonna go for that leg. Down he goes. That was right across the foot as well. Yeah. The shin he he snapped that, that foot back. He does suit the name Mul No Mercy, doesn't he? Oh uh, yeah, and, and Kit, he, although he's twisted his ankle, he does not want to stop. This is a Mark Rousseau. He's got to swing. He's got to. That's over. The fight's over. That's over. 
There's the tension. Ridiculous behaviour there. Silly. No need for that. No need for that. Never mind. That's the way it goes. Exciting though, isn't it? Mulkey's corner is very happy they stopped this. Shut, shut, kick, kick down. Yeah, a lot of heat there between the two because of, of, of the tension, but it should be more sportsman than that. It should. But like you said, passion, get women involved, all yeah, rules go out the window. There you go. As, as the, the old trainers used to say, women weak and legs. That's <laughs> <laughs> very good, that. Very good, Kieran. <laughs> well, Nate, Nate and Kieran um, start being uh, not very nice about women. I'll have all the women that think you're not very nice men. <laughs> That'll do me. I didn't say they weren't worth joking. fighting for. <laughs> <laughs> I just said they, they will see. want some shit. But here's some of the action he had. The ankle was gone, wasn't it, Nate? Yes, it, it, it kit, he threw a spinning kick and just lost it. I don't know if he twisted his ankle or, you know, or maybe caught his foot on... You just see that, just caught his foot on the elbow, but... You know, you have to go for it. If someone's injured, you're going to have to go for it. Stop them. You see, just above us at the moment, they're talking, oh, you know, they're all friends. It's sport, not war. That was some of the action. A bit silly, that, but never mind. Straight in was Master Champ. I remember Master Champ from 22 years ago, back in Manchester in England. So it's a we go back a long way, but still, they're all friends now. And here you see just the low kick, oh, you just see his foot snap right back. Horrible oh, power, horrible power. That was power. a tough twist on that ankle. But he, it's true to his name though, isn't it? He didn't have no mercy at all, Chaz Mulkey. And he meant every single technique he threw, bad intentions. He's an angry man, isn't he? He's just angry. He is. And the good thing about fighting, once you fought, what else could you have done? Yeah. Move on. That's true. He's got the, he's got the win. He's got the victory once in it. Motions run high. Shit. Nevertheless, it's a good, good win and a good scalp. Yeah. For Chaz Mulkey. You know, Chaz Mulkey is a huge 70 kilo fighter. He, he could really be making waves over the next Certainly couple of could. years. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner in our max fight category. Two minutes and 16 seconds of round two. Fighting out of the red corner. Chaz, no mercy, Mulkey! Commiserations to Kip Cope. You could see that Chaz it stands more solid normally, but he really wanted to get that out of the way. A great performance by him. Fantastic result for his gym. Commiserations to Kip Cope. But I'm sure we'll see him again on K1 very, very soon. Well, I'd like to thank Nate Quarry. Sorry for getting your name wrong. In the excitement <laughs> of all this. But, you know, thank you for joining us. I hope to speak to you very